Period I, period uh Aries, what's up? I got some messages for you. I did a lot of reading yesterday. Um, I'm gonna make it public. So Aries just like I forgot to make the reading public. So you could be forgetting something, Aries. There could be a lot of conflict um going on surrounding your situation or surrounding like communication. Yeah, so I feel like somebody's communicating like a harsh ending. They like, oh Aries, I feel like somebody's like, fuck you, bitch. I'm done. I don't want you. Fuck you, ho. And somebody's like really, really pissed. This could be like some harsh, harsh, harsh communication amongst a lot of people. Or this could be like a lot of people like that's in competition with you. That's like competing with you or they're speaking about you behind your back. This could be like a lot of people that's watching you. Or this could be a Gemini that's watching you. Somebody's like trying to watch your love life or see like what's going on or who you sleeping with or who you doing, Aries. Like there's someone that's really, really like into you with the six of wands or they want victory with you or somebody here that's in love with you this could be a supporter of yours i'm picking up somebody who's going through a harsh ending right now though like with the eight of wands the ten of swords and the five of wands this is a lot of people coming at somebody in regards to an ending could be a gemini sagittarius leo uh yeah, definitely those signs. So I feel like there could be an argument here. And then we have the five of cups about what somebody regrets doing, Aries. Don't know, but this could be like you moving on or somebody here has moved or somebody felt like a narcissist could have been a waste of their time. Um, maybe a guardian angel could have been telling you about a narcissist being a waste of your time or um, that this person could be trying to... Or somebody here is in a commitment, okay? And something could be going on with their health. Um, your guardian angels could be telling you about someone at this time. So maybe they want you to use your intuition, um, Aries, or you just got to figure something out. But I feel like some, there's a lot of fighting and arguing, or there's a lot of um, there's a lot of conflict here. We have intimacy. All right, so. Sexual chemistry, reminiscing. Somebody's reminiscing about sex with you. They're reminiscing about the chemistry that y'all have, Aries. We have gambling here. And I feel like this person wants to gamble. They want to take a risk. I feel like whoever this is, they have addictions with intimacy. Um, Damn, somebody's addicted to having intimacy or having sex. Somebody could be having... Somebody could have sex addictions here. Please be mindful of... Um, these messages may or may not resonate. Take or fit and leave the rest here. I feel like somebody have gambled their health or health issues could arise. If you take a gamble with this person, whoever this is, something here about moving, change of residence, moving in with your partner. This is someone here that has like um, health issues could arise if you was to change your residence or move in with your partner, Aries, okay? Or move in with someone. There could be someone here that's spying on a narcissist or a narcissist could be spying on you for some reason. Yeah. What do I want to pull? Because I said I wanted to pull one of these. Yeah. Thank you guys for the likes, the comments, subscribes, the donations, and all of that. We got Zaddy with the coin, Big D Energy. You have to be a faithful businessman. This is a leader that's well-respected. I'm getting King of Pentacles vibes, loyal, loving, caring, and generous. Oh, shit, Aries. Somebody here could be, this could be Big Zaddy. They rushing in to you. Somebody wants another chance. I feel like this person has an extended, though. With the extension in reverse... This person is not on the right path. I feel like you're like, nah, this person is not worth waiting for because maybe your feelings have grown cold towards this person and they want another shot with you. But I feel like this person was never loyal to you. They could have dogged you in front of a karmic here or they, they talk bad about you in front of one of their karmics, but they feel like you're the best that they ever had or something like that, Ari. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, this person is like, they feel like you're the best they ever had, okay? So, I don't know, Aries. Give me a couple cards. You are divine. Remember who you are, God or goddess. Remember who the F you are. Somebody wants to reconcile with you, but remember who you are. Don't let nobody come in and treat you like chump change, okay? You know, they want to save the change for later. You know what I mean? They want to dig up in their pocket. Let me see how much change I got. But then they just want to throw the change somewhere. But we're going to just throw them over there. No, don't let nobody treat you like a motherfucking penny. Because no, you're not. Okay? 
you are divine remember you are who you are god is god you know what i mean and i'm saying that not saying that you are the almighty god but you have a god within you you are not the almighty but you have a god you are a god within you you know what i mean because some people be saying that to be arrogant and feel like they all high and mighty no you are a humble god a humble goddess like at the same time like you know what i mean it's not that it's about the energy that you have. Like you're loving. You're not of this world. Okay. You're different. All right. And I feel like somebody knows that. I love this for you, Aries. Okay. We got jealous friends. Not all are happy for you. Mm -mm. If it comes out, we can clarify it. And we have, I'm not in love with them. Somebody really wants to tell you that they're not in love with someone. But your ancestors, your guys, they want you to know who you are. I'm getting that line key. Remember remember <laughs> something like that like you have to remember or something it could be a pass on um a guardian angel here that wants you to remember who you are and remember how much work that you put in on yourself aries and don't let nobody come in and try to like diminish that like you you know who you are you know the work you tapped into your inner god and inner goddess Okay, so I feel like, yeah, divine masculine may want to come in and protect you and provide for you. All right, or divine masculine. We have reevaluate. Some of y'all need to reevaluate your business plan, or if you're starting a business, or if you're thinking about starting a business, make sure you have all your I's dotted and your T's crossed. Okay, give me a couple more for my Aries. We have a secret phone line. Another, somebody got another phone. Maybe you need to get another phone. Whoever this is, they saying this person has two phone lines. I got two phones, one for the <laughs> Aries. Somebody has another phone. Whoever this is, you should know who this is. They got a secret phone. Maybe you don't know about the secret phone. Um, they got another line. Yeah, under spiritual attack, you under spiritual attack. So you may need to cleanse your energy. You may need to cleanse your energy. Yeah. I wish I can tell you how I truly feel. This person is wishing that they could tell you how they truly feel because they've been playing a lot of mind games with you. But I feel like, yeah, your light irritates my demons. <sighs> What's this? You're fucking stupid. False twin flame. Your person's with a false twin flame. And the reason why they got a health issue or something here is going on because they're with a false twin. Whoever this is, Aries, they with a false twin flame. We got a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius here that wants to return back from the past. What's this? I feel like you're telling somebody that you're fucking stupid. Yeah, because time is up. Somebody here let somebody ruin their health. A false twin did. Your person is with a false twin. This doesn't serve your your highest good. Mm -mm, not this person, Aries. This person is, I'm researching twin flames and soul contracts. This person wants to know about twin flames, soul contracts, and stuff like that. I feel like, um, yeah, I hate that I love you so much, and I would never, never find another like you. And we have past life relationship. You've known each other. Y'all had a past life relationship, okay, in a previous life. Somebody, mm, all right. Aries, eight minutes, and we didn't say it too much or nothing. All we know, only thing that we said was, you are divine and remember who you are. But somebody wants to reconcile with you. We have the three of wands at a distance. Somebody feels distant from you here. It could be another Aries, or this could be um, a fire sign. It don't matter. But with the three of wands here, somebody is waiting on you. They're waiting on you. I feel like you know this. Yeah, you know somebody waiting on you at a distance. This could be somebody here that turned their back on you at a distance. We have the Ace of Cups. Somebody loves gambling. Somebody loves gambling. They love these addictions. Somebody could have addictions with like uh, drinking and gambling or managing their fan. Uh, they don't know how to manage their finances. This could be an Ace of Cups that's coming in, a new love that has addiction. Like they're addicted to gambling and bad finances. This could be a new lover. Oh, this is somebody here coming in the Ace of Cups. And we have the Justice here. Wow. What is the Justice under health issues could arise? What is this? Does somebody got legal issues, Aries? We got the King of Pentacles here. That could be changing their residence. Taurus energy. Yeah, didn't we say Big Daddy with the coin? 
that or, or a big daddy, somebody here that wants to be faithful, or this is how they're appearing. They're appearing faithful, committed, or somebody here could have been moving with their partner. You may have this person blocked, or they may have ghosted you, or you ghosted this person, Aries. What's the three of wands? The magician. Oh, okay. Somebody's manifesting you at a distance, Aries. So, yeah. But the, the magician and the three of wands, Virgo, Gemini, we have Aries. Yeah, somebody's manifesting the union for you at the distance, but I feel like you're ignoring it with the two of swords because you're focusing on your money, your finances, so you're healing things with your money. And I feel like there's people that's mad. But where this is, you may have a lot of people. You may have up to three people manifesting you. Or this could be, I don't know, somebody here is at a distance from you, though. You can stay far from this person. What's the three of wands? Look, judgment. Mm. For some of you, how this landing out? This person maliciously gossiped about you. They're not even following their calling or they haven't went through an awakening. But all they know is they want to sleep with you. Like, what the fuck is this? This person could have maliciously gossiped about you. They could have blamed you for something or they could have overly judged you. But then they have, they, but they want to sleep with you. Let me make, make this make sense. Hold on, let me get this straight. You maliciously gossip about Aries. You judge Aries. You're not self-aware, but then you want to intimacy with Aries? What is this about? They're manifesting you. The judgment is in reverse. What is this? Look, they're out of books. Aries, you holding back. Yeah, the emperor. There you go, Aries. You holding back. Yeah, I feel like even though you're like, yeah, I'm sweet, loving, and I'm caring, and I'm empathic, but at the same time, nah, I'll ghost you. I don't care. What's the, yeah, the empress. Ooh. So this is you? Are you the empress? The Empress, Emperor was here, or somebody wants to come towards you, Empress. The Four of Pentacles. So, like, you're holding back from this Emperor or or whoever this is. Give me the Queen of, um, somebody's manifesting intimacy with you, Empress. They're doing a love spell on you right damn now. What's the Empress? Yeah, the Four of Wands, Aries. Yeah, this you. We got the Four of Wands here. Yeah. So, the Four of Wands is you. Um, somebody wants a commitment with you, Empress, or they know who you are, or they want. To... I feel like this person has not went through an awakening yet. I feel like they blamed you. They maliciously gossip about you. Um, but at the same time, they want to marry you. They want to get engaged. They want to love you or, or whatever. But yeah. Okay, but I feel like you could be focusing on your foundation. Some of you, you waiting for your ships to come in. I feel like you're not thinking about no damn sexual chemistry with no goddamn body at a distance. This person is under judgment. They're being punished by the most high. Yeah, what is their punishment? Give me the judgment in reverse. Wow, what's their punishment? Somebody here is being really, really, like, severely punished. Like, when a judgment come out in reverse, yeah, this could have been betraying you. Ten of Swords, 13, 13. This is why something ended between you and whoever this is. Okay, that's too scared to come out because this is how they look in the Five of Cups. Because I feel like, um... Either somebody tried to betray you, Aries. I feel like this could have been some bad talk behind your back or bad juju or somebody like literally tried to curse your name. But at the same time, this is you are the empress or this could have been your emperor that tried to do this. Your emperor tried to curse you, hex you, talk bad about you, but then they want to marry you, reunite with you. Your own emperor could have even tried to literally like, I'm trying to tell you because people could be like that if they not awaken. Clearly, this masculine ain't awakened, or whoever this is, they're not awakened. And they try to point the blame on you, make it seem like, or have everybody, uh, manipulate everybody to make it seem like you were the one that tended towards them and betrayed them. You're coming out as the four of wands, stable, focusing on your foundation, goddess energy. Remember who you are, god of goddess. You're coming out as just, just as that. Ten of swords, this person, like, literally betrayed you. D deep wound, empress behind your back probably could have did it in your face now they feel bad for what they did because now they're stuck the knight of pentacles this person could may want to take action all they want but i feel like what they're going to get is the queen of swords everybody else is going to get the empress energy your kids um your neighbors um people around you at the store they're going to get the empress energy loving 
beautiful, like, you know, uh, welcoming, nurturing, like everybody else is going to get the Empress energy. This masculine going to get the Queen of Swords. We have the Ace of Swords here. You're going through a, break, a breakthrough right now, Aries. Okay. Yeah. The Ten of Pentacles. Could be a lot of people in your family, or this is what you're focusing on. Um, generational wealth, your bloodline, um, clearing out cycles here, Aries. I feel like, um, with this Ten of Pentacles, what's the Ten of Pentacles? The Hierophant. Wow. So this could be like long-term commitment. Maybe this is what you want, but this could be an institution here that's not getting something here or they're not getting what they want. The Nine of Cups, they could be very smug that either you made peace with a situation. I feel like they want to come and apologize. Somebody here, this could be an institution, a government entity. I feel like you're getting something. You're getting the Ten of Pentacles and they're just going to be mad about that. You're going to get the Hierophant in it. You're getting the commitment, a high level soulmate, and you're going to, you're going to have it all. The Ten of Pentacles is usually like longevity, wealth, stability, happy life. You're, you're going to be married um, if, if you believe in that, okay? You're going to be in a commitment, a high level commitment with the person that either you can learn from and it's going to be very traditional. Yeah. So it's going to be very traditional and I'm getting it's going to be your wish fulfillment and I feel like other people are going to be mad. Look, the nine of wands, they're going to have a chip on their shoulder because you're going to be avoiding them. You're going to be like, no, it's just, it's me and my honey bun. Yeah, no, you should have, you want, you should have had me. You should have got me then. Like, it's just me and my babe. I'm faithful to my, my boo-boo. So get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> yeah, you could be saying, yeah, get the fuck out of my face. No, you, you had me, you judged me poorly. You didn't think I was your empress. You thought that I was, I don't know who they thought that you was, Aries. But this person cut you off. They were mean. They, they had an attitude or they were being nasty with you. So guess what? Yeah, no, I'm not your empress. Now it's the four of cups. I'm not settling here. I feel like this person was like bored with you. Or, you know, they try to treat you like you wasn't the empress. What's the ace of cups? In fact, that's, a, yeah, the five of wands. Woo! Loaded. What's all the competition? What's the five of wands, Aries? The Knight of Swords, Gemini, Leo. Okay, somebody's rushing in because they done gambled their money or there's there's a big old fight that's breaking out. Somebody done gambled the money. They spent all the church's money, okay? Ain't no more money. What's this? <laughs> So they're coming in, somebody's coming in with conflict or they coming in in a five of wands. They're coming in to be petty because they mad. I feel like somebody here is like mad because they spent their money. So it's like, no, I have to blame you, Aries, because I spent all my money gambling. Yeah, they coming straight to you, Leo or uh, Gemini energy. Mm-hmm. But it's like they could be coming in wanting to be sweet and, and be in a two of cups, be in a relationship, a partnership, or heal a situation with you because they see you as the queen of pentacles focused on your bread, your money, or you could be very nurturing. Aries, look, somebody's coming in to be petty. What's the knight of swords, five of wands? They're coming in. They're suddenly arriving here because they are avoiding a tower or avoiding some type of personal change. They're trying to avert a tower within their situation and now they want to come towards you what's the tower in reverse scorpio aries energy what's this what's the tower in reverse look the six of swords in reverse yeah this is trouble coming out this person feels like they have unfinished business with you they could be very attached to you sexually the ace of wands or they're trying to attach themselves literally to your root chakra your sacral chakra and it's like they're trying to force this attachment so that way you don't close the cycle out with them or maybe somebody sees that you're forcing a cycle to close and you're like no nah, i'm gonna force this cycle to close and here somebody comes there's trouble coming out this is someone here that refuses to either do the work or heal from some type of they, they refuse to be guided they don't want to be guided this is the energy that like they don't want to change so it's like this could be like a a personal tower that somebody's having like an inner tower like due to some type mm. and why are they coming to Aries with this pettiness why that's what I want to ask the Knight of Wands because they're attracted to you. They want to chase you. They feel like you're very sexy. The queen of wands or 
you're sexy, you're attractive, you're a go-getter, you do what you want to do, and they're still coming to be a fucking knight? Aries, who the hell is this childish person is that don't know how to manage their finances or their money? So it's like, <laughs> they're coming to be a knight of wands and a knight of swords. Okay, so I'm picking up. Why are they coming in the Nine of Wands energy? The Wheel of Fortune. Because they see that you're fortunate and luck is on your side. The Wheel of Fortune, yeah. Somebody has been blocked out of your destiny. Yeah. I feel like this person is not actually healing or they don't want to be guided. So they have been got, uh, they have been blocked from your destiny or having some type of good luck, fortune, or fate with you. Somebody here is avoiding their destiny or they're, avoid they're avoiding their calling. <laughs> so they're gambling their life away or they're gambling like you know with their addictions and bad finances they doing what they want to do but yet they're trying to come towards you saying that y'all got unfinished business i know you fucking lying aries hold back this could be a leo a queen of wands or strength or this could be you aries that you just holding back your energy maybe you need to because somebody here is like still not trying to make a decision or they don't want to do right. Or they don't want to go through. They don't want to face the tower here. They too scary. I feel like you're like, nah. Mm -mm. This ain't no easy road. No easy street. You ain't finna just come. Nah. Going through that backfire on your own. Somebody here wanting to give up. They're not protected. Mm -hmm. They're not protected. This knight of wands and it's not a swords. No. Somebody's not protected because all of the goddamn dark magic that they did. The The obsessively like spying and doing root work on you aries somebody is not protected because of it they're not protected give me this to a so so i feel like you closed off your feelings you closed off your energy somebody has made a bad decision a bad choice or you don't give a fuck about having any type of fortune or destiny with this person and this is why they're trying to come towards you here because they are also they also manifested for you to slow down or somebody wanted you to like be stuck What's the two of swords? We got Libra energy. We have the hermit. Yeah, you're quiet. Ghost. Two of swords. You're like, no, I don't see you. I don't hear you. Don't talk to me. No, because I feel like somebody has an arterial motive. This is the reason why they're coming in. And I feel like you know that. The high priestess and the sun. There, what's there? What's this knight of wands, knight of swords, arterial motive when it comes to my Aries? The Ace of Wands. Look at this. To, to steal your power and your money and your finances. To go in your purse. To go in your pocketbook. Like like my grandmama used to say. My big mama used to say. To get your money. To get you to give to them. And then come up with limp ass pennies. Or to try to steal your power. No. It's not happening. They think they're finna start a new passionate beginning with you. I'm getting this one now. And it ain't even hitting all like that. This person wants, <laughs> I feel like you don't even have any chemistry or you're not even really attracted to this person like that. Like, no, going back to who you've been going back to, who you've been, who you've been with. Because you're not finna come to me with this Ace of Wands in reverse. Green leaky shit coming up out of there. No. Mm -mm. That's their arterial motor. It's to come in. With the Knight of Wands and then reject you. Brutally reject you. Fuck no. It ain't that deep. I feel like Aries, you just like, man, I, I you ain't that you ain't that hard on for sex. Yeah, somebody regrets family. What's the justice though? We have the four of wands in reverse. Damn, so there was a breakup or a cancel celebration because of a health issue. What's the four of wands justice in reverse? Yeah, a cycle has been closed because of a health issue. Ooh, Aries. We have um we have Aries, Libra, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. So something here about one line or <sighs> this could be secrets coming out about somebody's online, what they've been doing online. Mm -hmm. What does it have to do with the justice? What's the four of wands, the world, the justice please, is when it comes to these health issues? The nine of swords, somebody's scared or they're guilty. Aries, this could be a Gemini. Somebody's up in their head. They're worried about this truth coming out. And when this truth come out, no one is going to work with them. Mm. 
nobody's gonna want to work with them they're gonna look at this person like nah you the devil like i ain't fucking with you look the devil the page of pentacles here it could be dealing with a, a, a capricorn a younger capricorn that's hateful could be playing mind games. Oh, no, honey. What's the nine of swords? Somebody's like scared. They're worried. Six of wands, the moon. This could be like um, somebody here that secretly supports you. Or somebody here, their support is... Okay, so when I see the moon and the six of wands, this could be someone that's casting some type of illusion like they get victory or they could be like a winner or something like that. But they don't. I feel like you're clean, the Ace of Cups. You and your lover's good, but there's somebody here that's going through a tower, though. Or somebody's exposing a connection or who someone has partnered up with, Aries. What's the Nine of Swords? So there's nightmares, yeah, that you may not want to partner up with them, or you may not be in love with them, or you may not want this. Somebody's worried about the soulmate connection because now I'm looking at this girl. She's married. It's like, I mean, not she's married. She's mad. She's looking at this person angry. She's looking at this person like, man, you trying to take my cup. But like, I don't know. Like, yeah, it's like somebody, I don't know what this two of cups. It just looks a little different. Somebody's worried about a soulmate union or a soulmate contract here. Maybe this could be like a mental health. Somebody's going through it mentally. Give me give me the health issue. What's the health issue? Somebody's going through it mentally. This could be like mental health that you don't want to reunite with them and you're closing the cycle. And that's how justice is. So, so somebody's health could be taking a toll. What's the nine of swords, two of cups? Yeah, the empress. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, the ten of wands. You're like, man, you were careless. You were doing the empresses out twice. So, yeah, you could have been giving up here or you're not forcing nothing. You're not finna take on no burdens here because you feel like it's beating a dead horse, Empress. You're going to continue to sit pretty. Yeah, and this is how you get what you want, the Nine of Cups. So maybe you're going to be selfish or you're going to satisfy yourself sexually. You're like, no, I don't want none of that. I satisfy myself. So y'all going to be self-pleasuring pleasuring yourselves. There's nothing wrong with that. It's safe. <laughs> yeah, you could be pleasuring yourself. What's the Ten of Wands and the Empress in reverse? We have the King of Swords. Okay, so why this King of Swords is coming out? Now he's looking sorry, he's looking sad for being mean and mad. Yeah, because now he wants to reconcile. Like, oh, I'm sorry for being an asshole. The King of Swords, I'm sorry for being mean to you. I'm sorry for, because I know you're giving up on me. So I feel like Empress, you're giving up on someone. And this is causing a health issue between this person. The Ten of Wands, you're not carrying no more wands, no burdens. You're not forcing nothing. You're not doing it all. Something here is beating a dead horse. I feel like somebody here was very careless. What's the King of Swords? A King of Swords could have been an air sign. Yeah, the King of Swords is unstable because they did something out of excess. The Temperance energy could be Sagittarius. Somebody is unstable. They did something in excess. They're not protected. This person's angels. There, there's no peace for this person. And this person has ran out of patience or you have ran out of patience with this person. Look, the five of swords, the magician is coming out. I feel like you ran out of patience. You ran out of peace. You're like, no, I don't. Yeah, what's the temperance? And the king of swords. Yeah, we have the king of cups. And somebody still loves you. They still want this. And somebody's lover is getting exposed. Something here is being exposed. And somebody got caught in an act doing something. Scorpio Cancer Pisces energy. With the King of Cups. Could be a Pisces. Um, Sagittarius. Gemini or um, Aquarius. And I'm not seeing Libra. Yeah, it could be a Gemini or an Aquarius. Give me why this King of Cups coming out. King of Cups could be making a decision. Yeah, so this King of Cups wants to come towards you. The Ten of Cups, they want a commitment. They want to partner up. Well, yeah, somebody wants to marry you or they want to be together. Mm. 
They want to celebrate with you, Aries. Mm -hmm. Cause they know you're very compassionate. You're healing. You're loving. Or somebody wants to ghost this Queen of Cups and come straight towards you. But there's a lot of conflict about an ending. Yeah, cause somebody here needs to release something. Give me the King of Pentacles right here. And the King of Pentacles is calling you, or they're talking to you. This person wants to talk to you. Or this could be some fast changes here. This could be a Capricorn. What's the Eight of Wands? King of Pentacles. Via the sun. Somebody's saying that you make them happy. Aw, Aries. Somebody's like, nah, you make me happy, Aries. I'm happy with you. And mm -hmm, they want to move fast. Somebody's like, I even want another child. What's the Eight of Wands and the sun? Wow. We have the three of pentacles, but you're not working together with something here is just not working. This could be group conflict, or this king of pentacles is like seeing the truth about a situation or seeing the truth about this group that has been trying to slow them down through magic or through manipulation because they were in competition or they were jealous. So somebody here has trying to keep, been trying to keep this king of pentacles in their head. Maybe this king of pentacles could be moving so that way they could move forward in life because the eight of wands talks all about that movement, fast movement, communication through the airways. But maybe somebody's saying like, I don't want to work together with this third party group no more. And somebody's unskilled. This could be conflict. What's the, yeah. Somebody wants to invest or they thinking about doing this. What's the seven of pentacles? The five of wands. Somebody's thinking about some type of conflict or a competition that has started. This could have been some beef here that's going on about where somebody wants to reside or come towards you and work a situation out. What's the five of wands? So there's a lot of conflict and competition. We have the emperor. So the emperor could be in competition or the emperor could be conflicted. We have the five of swords. Why is the emperor coming out in this five of wands? So this emperor may want to be petty with you, Aries. This could be the father of your ch 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 uh, your father of your children, or this could be like a, a father figure, a CEO, a boss. Why the emperor the five of wands though? Because they're not a confused or what is this? What's the emperor with the five of wands? Because something is over, they mad. The emperor is. They're watching you. The page of swords. Yeah, so it, so it could be a, a a father figure, a boss, a CEO, somebody that's well respected. Somebody here is like letting everybody go, or they're not confused, or they're not in any more illusions about. I don't know. Well, what's the jealousy with this emperor? Why is there competition, or why is there an obstacle here with this emperor? Because they took all day. Give me more. Why is the obstacle with this emperor? The Ten of Cups. Somebody took all day to give you the Ten of Cups. They took all day to have this Ten of Cups with you, Aries. Or they took all day to, like, yeah, to come in and be sweet or reconcile or be nice to you. They took all day. So you're bored. Four of Cups. You're like, no, I really don't want it. <laughs> Maybe somebody's like, man, like, yeah, the tower. You're like, man, no, you took all this time to give me what I want. I don't want that shit, man. Somebody's coming towards you. The chariot and the tower. This could be dispatch or police or... Oh, Lord. Aries. Somebody could... Something could be coming out about a family member of yours. Be mindful. So a family member of yours could be getting exposed as well. Look, the chariot in a tower, Scorpio, Aries. We have cancer energy. I feel like somebody's movement is suddenly like, I don't know, something gets exposed about where somebody's going or where they're traveling to or where they're moving to. It gets exposed. What's the Six of Cups anyway? The Aries. Eight of Pentacles, yeah, they want to work on this Aries. We got the justice again. Maybe you feel like holding back is your justice. Yeah, because somebody has been divination spine or they could have been doing dark magic on you. And I feel like you've gotten clarity regarding it. Information overload about who's been doing what. Like I said in the beginning, it started out this person could have been saying harsh things behind your back. That's what the Ten of Swords is. This person was bad-mouthing their empress. 
this person could have been talking bad about you to your family members, to their family members about you with the Ten of Pentacles. And you were the one that was supposed to build longevity with this person or have generational wealth with this person. So, yeah. What is the messages here? Give me this, um, something about a jackpot. Somebody was too slow. They didn't know that you was the jackpot, Aries. The Empress is just that. You are the energy that grows. Feminine energy grows. You, you, everything grows around feminine energy. I was going into a store the other day, and I can tell when a store is ran by feminine energy. They have everything stocked up. The shelves are not empty. That is how you can tell when something, when, when you are around feminine energy, we stock everything up. We don't, we don't miss. When you have a feminine energy or somebody's in business with a feminine energy, they're going to make sure everything is like together. Somebody play, somebody play games. Now they're a groupie and they're a happiness hater because you're a boss or you run your own business or you're stable or you're multifaceted here. Or there's somebody here that's a boss that could be a spiritual hater. But yeah, I can tell when something is being ran by feminine energy. Like say if I go into a store, like I said earlier, I go into a store and I'm like, damn, they got everything that I need in here. This is ran by mostly women. And then my convictions are like true because I will go and ask the ladies in the front. So this is a store that's ran by feminine energy, isn't it? And like, yeah, mostly women run this store. I knew it because there's everything. I mean, everything is in stock. Everything is neatly placed and is right for order. But you run a store with like masculine energy, like sometimes masculine is destruction, war. We bring the balance, we bring the peace, the loving energy. The masculine energy has to learn what to do with that with that energy. Y'all go out and, and hump some shit and, and do some shit. Yet men, men, these men are not an emperor energy. They're not made to be stay at home. Staying at home, no. They're supposed to be out there chopping fucking wood down and getting their hands dirty. And I mean, yes. So that's how I feel. But yeah, you're dusting something off, Aries. Okay. <laughs> You're dusting something off, okay? Because I feel like, you know, somebody's a thief or they're trying to come in and rob you. Yeah, of your theft, physical or emotional. They're trying to take your power or somebody wants to take your power. Yeah, I feel like you're ignoring it. You're, cop you're blocking this out? Mm-hmm. Because you had enough of, of this third party shit or somebody, like, you had enough or somebody only wanted you to be a fuck buddy or secret lover or a sex fix. No, ain't nobody got time for that. Fuck out of here. That's why it says, remember who you are, God of goddess. Got you. They got you all the way messed up. We got dodging bullets, blocking negativity, escaping crazy people, and you're protected by these haters. Mm -hmm. And we have child neglect. Bad parenting, scared of parents, hates parents here. So this person said that you was a bad parent. They judged your parenting skills. They said, oh, that Aries, the Empress came out twice. Like, the Empress is not a bad mother. The queen of pentacles in reverse is, or the empress in reverse is. So this person say that you are a bad parent or you neglect your children or you yell at your children or whatever this is. Okay, Aries. Yeah. They're mad because either you're not reflecting or you're not dreaming or fantasizing about this person no more. You're not nostalgic about this person at all because of everything that they have said about you. We have low IQ. Now they're crying because either they're being rejected or you're rejecting this person. Now they're tripping on you in silence. Now they, they're being haunted because of them wearing fake smiles or somebody wearing fake smiles with them. This could be like energies like talking bad about them. Like whatever they said about you, these are people here in their family saying this about them. Like they neglect their children or they, you know what I mean? Like they hearing this about their family so give me the ten of pentacles give me their family let's see photo proof and evidence a crazy person so somebody here is getting photo proof or evidence here about something that needs cleaning or deep cleaning give me the photo proof or evidence 
And yeah, of somebody here that's ghosted. Okay, give me the photo proof and evidence. Yeah, about you saying kiss your ass. Oh, they got evidence of that and they pissed too, Aries. <laughs> so somebody's pissed because you told them to kiss your ass. Now they want to cyber bully you. Now they want to be a Karen towards you or they want to be evil and malicious and mean off of their fake accounts. Because because you won't let this person steal from you, take from you, rob you of your emotions, physical, or you want to let this person take your power, Empress. That's why I said remember who you are. Give me this reconciliation. Somebody's breaking up with somebody here because they're bored or they try to break up with you. I feel like you predicted this. That somebody was a groupie or is a groupie or they're a hater or happiness hater. Somebody does not want you to be happy. We have spiritual cleaning in needed. Whoever this is, they need a deep cleaning. This broke ass that's coming in to chase you. They're looking you up, trying to find ways here to either ruin your reputation. <laughs> they don't want nobody to have good chemistry or they don't want you to have good chemistry with nobody. Give me this emperor. This emperor is finna chase you. Give me the emperor. Maybe you're uninterested. <laughs> yeah, because this person wants to bully you or they could have been bullying you. Give me the king of cups. And this king of cups can have legal issues. Give me the king of cups. King of cups could be a happiness hater. Give me the king of swords. King of Swords, oh, something here about a pregnancy. Yeah, something here going on about a pregnancy. Or oh, this King of Swords, they want to ask somebody something about some pregnancy, or they want to tell you about a pregnancy here. All right, and we have a broke ass. Give me the Empress. And we got creativity muncher in reverse. If you coming out as the empress, you're not a creativity muncher. You don't steal ideas. You don't copy off nobody work. And you don't feed. The only thing you feed off is your energy alone, Aries. And you're not confused about these energies moving in or trying to move in silence on you. You're not confused. Yeah. So you're not having passionate thoughts about a boss daddy. A, a boss, a CEO, big dick energy, a stable rich business owner here that's creeping. That's in a love triangle here. Or they could be wanting to like creep on you or they think that you don't know that they could have been like bothering you online or had somebody to bother you online. Now they're haunted by this. They're wearing these fake smiles because some, there's some competition here about children or something here is going on with children. I don't know, Aries, but this is kind of wild. <laughs> if you ask me, boo, it's kind of wild, honey. So, yeah, somebody's triggered because you told them to kiss your ass. I don't know, Aries. I'm going to leave it there, though. Hopefully, you was able to find some messages up in here. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on so you will not miss any of my videos. Until next time, I'm going to leave it there. How many did I do today? I think I'm going to do one more. Well, my back is hurting, so. Um, I may have energy for one more, but I'm going to take me a little break real quick. So Aries, that was your reading. I'm going to leave it there. Talk to you soon. Bye.